Hello, this is Francis from McCat Free Crafts, and today I am showcasing uh, what will be the, uh, the the one of the greatest sticks that uh, I have ever made. Um, I have teased this out on the uh, live streams and uh, before that I had a stick that I had, which I'm going to start at about 500 euro. Uh, and uh, I thought it'd be very interesting to make this video as well. So I have to stand a bit back so that uh, I can fit this in as well. So this stick is, uh, is a 45 um, inches in length. Uh, it is uh, a good 5 kg in weight. Um, again, guys, this is more of a display piece uh, than, than anything else. And uh, it's been seasoning for 10 years. And it is a very rare and very unique piece. And uh, I'll show you it first so you guys can have a look. So here will be the, uh, the, the unveiling of, uh, of, of this stick. So you guys can actually get, uh, get a look of what, what it looks like. Um, this uh, is a piece of blackthorn. Uh, let me stand back here so you guys... <laughs> see this as well it's quite a quite a heavy piece of uh of, of black turn as uh let me get on my my knees here so you guys can can uh can see this piece um this piece of black turn uh was was 10 years old um it was cut way back in my early days 2012 2013 uh when i started to become famous uh, for for making black turn um there was a blog and a blogger in the u.s a saltwater new england that started promoting me as well and uh i was very energetic in those days and uh you know i i thought that i would get a very big interesting piece of black turn and uh you know there was this land being cleared by by diggers and different things as well and i saw this very very interesting piece but it's very hard to get out of the ground um as you can see it's a very very heavy piece as well you want to do some uh, some some weights in it as well you will not be able to hold this with one hand you know you'll be completely completely banjaxed um as you can see here by the uh, the the handle i'll slowly rotate it as well and um, this was the root of a blackthorn tree and to get a piece of black turn that grows this thick, uh, you know, must be 70 to 90 years in age as well. Uh, you're not going to see any pieces of black turn like this out there ever. Like, you know, in the, you know, 16, 17 years that I've been making black turn. And uh, I haven't seen anything like this from any of my competitors ever as well. Like a really good, thick, heavy piece of black turn like this as well. Uh, I'll give you the views from all the angle. And then at the end, I'll tell you how uh, you can go about uh, getting your hands on, on this very unique and interesting piece of black thorn uh, by, by McCaffrey Crafts as well. Uh, I was trying to think of how to make the video on this and how to, uh, to pose in it. And as always, I have no preparation. I just kind of like wing it uh, as, uh, as I please as well. Sorry, I thought someone was going to come into my shop there. And uh, so <laughs> here is the piece of black thorn. So uh, let me get into the, uh, the frame so you can kind of see it as well. Uh, that would look amazing in any pub, any bar, any display piece as well. Just so you can get an, an idea of having it on, on display as well. Uh, you know, if you want to, to, if you're quite quite a big guy and you you think you can you can handle, you know, this in a in, in a faction fight. You'd want to be a lot bigger than me. You'd want to be as big as Big Mick Foley, my ancestor, and very famous faction fighter from Calorglan as well. Uh, this is a stick that I think is quite amazing. Uh, I love the characters, the features, the uniqueness as well. And, uh, you know, so anyway, guys, enough of me waffling on about this. Um, so the way, the way I'm going to go about selling this, and uh, I'm going to do this a bit differently this time, um, I'm going to start with bids from 500 euro so for this particular stick if you want to make a bid now i'm going to be a bit fair i'm not going to have a bidding war between guys and driving up the price like crazy because you know I, I, that kind of annoys me and different things as well so the way i'm going to do this is going to be very fair everyone is allowed to make one bid between now and when i announce it on my live stream on friday so today's tuesday and um, everyone can make one bid and uh, all the big bids will be kind of done in confidence as well. Um, you can email through the, uh, the, the bids to, this, uh, to me here at um, McCaffreyCrafts at gmail.com. My email is on my website, uh, website McCaffreyCrafts.com. So you can email me with what your bid is and the highest bid you'll make. And then the winner is just the guy with the, uh, the highest bid. And I think that's the kind of fairest way to do it because then you won't get into a bidding war. It's, uh, it's very, very fair. There's no like, oh, you know, someone sniped you at the end. You don't have to wait around. 
So anytime between now and Friday, you can throw in your bid. That's it, you're done. You just wait until Friday and, and, uh, and see how you, how you did. Uh, I won't give any information of who the winning bid is or who the highest bid is as well. Um, I'll be promoting this on my uh, social media. So if you're interested in this stick, um, email or message me or send me in a bid. Um, I'll write down your bid. And then on the live stream on Friday at 6 p.m. Irish time, I'll do a live stream. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll announce the, uh, the the winner as well as well. Usually the winners like to be kept anonymous, but if they do, it'll be good because then I can just maybe I've mentioned by first name or something like that as well. So if you're interested in this stick, um, you can start emailing me in bids from now. And uh, yeah, by, by Friday, um, I can announce then uh, who's the winner. I think that's the fairest way to, to do it as well. And I hope you guys appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys in the community, but you're never going to find a piece of black turn like this anywhere in the market, anywhere for sale. Um, imagine how hard it is to find a black thorn bush, but one that is this overgrown and this old as well. Like there's, there's so many features. If you guys are stick collectors, you know exactly this is quite an interesting and valuable piece. So and again, guys, look, thank you for watching and uh, thank you for all the support and supporting Irish crafts and buying from Irish stick makers as well, who make shillelaghs in Ireland as well. It's an heritage product of Ireland. It's not made out of these messy woods from and stuck and glued together and, uh, and planks, you know? So anyway, guys, Buy my sticks and thanks very much.